you you were saying you know this this obsession with America and the, and, and indeed you know the the history of uh, race relations in America is quite different to here. But the thing that started the problem was not really related to that, was it, David? It was actually, it was about something else. It was about your, um, your, your explaining about genocide and slavery. Or but it is all part of the same thing. It's a competition for the most victim status. Right. Right. That's what it's about. Right. Um, the, as I said, and you, you see this repeatedly, there is the, there is the attempt at claim. What, right, let me put it in very different, let me put it in as simple terms as possible. What is it, the, the, the nature of the left's attack on Britain at the moment is to claim that the British Empire is the equivalent mm. of the Nazis, that its wrongs are as great as the Nazis, that they require equivalent atonement, that, the, that specifically the element of slavery in the British Empire is the equivalent of the Jewish genocide, and that therefore we require a similar uh, abnegation about our history, a renunciation of it, mm -hmm. to the Germans. Mm -hmm. Now, all of those seem to me to be utter mm -hmm. rubbish, mm -hmm. utter and complete and dangerous rubbish. Mm -hmm. Because, of course, equally what the left has done is to reject any notion of objective truth. Mm -hmm. The reason that it is absurd, and you know, every every. BBC producer talks in these terms. I just mentioned Jenny Murray. There was somebody yes. who'd, somebody who'd been, um, uh, I, I, if I remember correctly, a Today producer. Again, going on about oh, the empire is the equivalent of genocide and whatever. Um, um, it is objectively not true. Mm -hmm. I think that was this week, wasn't it, with Jenny Murray? She, yes. She made yeah. these. She made these points. Uh, well, which are, which are a disgrace and a scandal. Mm. I mean, sorry. Uh, she's you know she she's she's well-loved and all the rest of it, but it's intellectually slovenly, it's a corruption of language, and frankly, it's a disgrace. Because, and the reason it's a disgrace is because the ob there is an objective test of these. Mm -hmm. Six million Jews are killed deliberately. Mm -hmm. Deliberately, with a machine of death, mm -hmm. right? You know, that is not in dispute. There is no, not even, a thousandth part of one percent of an equivalent of that. Mm. And so, but, but, but what the left has done is to reject the notion of, ob of objective truth. This is the catastrophe of what is going on at the moment, mm. that everything is point of view or felt experience. No, it's not. I mean, it, it again begins with the Lawrence inquiry, mm. where, you know, um, an act of race, uh, it's a racist act if somebody feels that it's a racist act. Mm. We're about to do the same thing with misogyny. No, it's not. And particularly English law depends, always used to depend, on the objective test of evidence. Mm. Mm. But we're rejecting that. Mm. And so that really is, that is cultural suicide. Mm. Thing is, uh, when, I keep returning to this obviously because it's been such a huge uh, event in your life. And, and no, it's not. So you're vastly, really, this is rubbish. You're wholly exaggerating it. Right. It was the behavior, you know, there's a wonderful passage. Sorry, it really is important we get this yes. right. There is this wonderful passage in Burke uh, when he talks, this is the height of the French Revolution, about a lot of noisy grasshoppers making a tremendous <laughs> Twitter. <laughs> whilst the great comfortable, he calls them the great cows, the, 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 the great beef of Britain, sort of contents, you know, contentedly chews its cud underneath the spreading British oak whilst a lot of ch -ch 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 uh, go on. That's what it is. Mm. Um, and it's, it's no accident. Um, it, it affects the world of the universities and particularly the world of arts faculties in the universities and, and aspects of the media. In other words, Peter, it's words, mm. words, words, words. Mm. Um, and so much of this is, and this is why I, I say it's a sort of cultural retreat. Um, the great triumph of, and it's very much the triumph of Britain and England in particular, is the triumph of the inductive experimental test of mm. truth. 
the whole basis of modern science and technology, sort of its remote intellectual ancestor, I suppose, is Francis Bacon. Um, uh, but but the, 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 the test of, ob uh, of, of objective truth and objective experience. And um, this is what separates us from the Middle Ages, where you had a science simply, there was a lot of science, there was a lot of philosophy, it was just words words mm. words words <laughs> about god words about nature whatever and um, uh, and we broke out of that stranglehold mm. with the test of objective truth we've abandoned that mm. test mm. which is why there's a sudden sense of going back to the middle ages what i did um in uh, what i did i mean nobody has ever been able to produce evidence that i have ever insulted anybody of color that i have ever used abusive language about them um i have lived in multicultural london for 40 or uh, how long now? Uh, um, uh, 40 or not longer, uh, mm -hmm. since 1972, for just coming up to 50 years. Mm -hmm. um, there is never, I have never been involved. In other words, there is no objective test. I used a wrong, I used one word out of place. Oh, yes, no, no. I mean, no, 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 no. Yes. but, 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 but let, 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 let's really pursue this. Mm. This is, this is incomprehensible in save in religious terms. What we have done, religion as a woke has become a new religion. What I did was to commit heresy. Remember, heresy was a voluntary crime. It was the denial of the beliefs of the church. And if you denied your denial, you weren't burnt. Mm. So it was completely, you know, that mm. unspeakable death of burning alive was a completely voluntary act. Um, and, uh, but it was all about words. And what we've done now, we've elevated language into this absurd um, prominence because we've cut it off from meaning. Mm. We've cut it off from outside experience. Mm. Everything is now just internal to people, mm. going on inside their heads. It's a form of lunacy. Mm. I mean, it really, really is a form of lunacy. Recently, the only reason I explore it more, David, with you is the effect it has. That's all. Of course, I mean, it's had... No, what I mean is the effect it has on your life, for example, on, on all of our lives. I mean, you know, you've had, therefore, you know... A, a bad experience in terms of being yes, but sorry, but, yes, but but sorry, I'm I'm a stoic. That is to say, I believe that experiences are only bad if you let them be bad. Right. They want to damage you. Of course, they want to damage you. They want to humiliate you. Mm. Of course, they do. But they can only do that if you let that happen. Mm. Um, and um, this is what Peterson, in an extraordinarily cack-handed and clumsy way, is trying to say. I wish I made as much money as he did, but that's another matter. Jordan um, Peterson, um, you mean, yeah. um, but 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 it is stoicism that that you that that you the only thing you you cannot control the world. Mm. You cannot control what people say about you, think about you. You can control how you react to it, mm. um, which is why I'm so contemptuous of victimhood. Mm. Um, victimhood is, is all about saying, um, because I am black or because I am disabled or because I am gay or because I am trans, I require the world to make all sorts of special allowances for me. What? Mm -hmm. What? Mm -hmm.